nothing happens on this side. Only this side, the beveled side, is pushing the material. I'm making this video to answer the viewer's question. The question came from Lieutenant Klaus Taken. Sorry, I'm pronouncing the name wrong, probably. The question is... How much of a difference in between single beveled knife like this and double beveled knife like this? The thing is, you may not see that much of a difference, but if you actually use them, if you cut things like carrot, you will feel the big difference. This morning, when I was making my breakfast, I used these four knives. Nukimono, uh, Usuba, Gyuto, and Yanagiba. And I was just trying to show some differences in between these. So, how much of a difference is there in between using a single beveled knife and a double beveled knife? I guess it depends. Depends on what kind of double beveled knife you are comparing. For example, if you compare this to this, the difference would be night and day. In fact, you won't even be able to do decorative cut, especially a carrot, with this one. So, double beveled knife, like this, excel when you cut thick, hard vegetable, like daikon radish, carrot. When you try to cut in the middle, like this because the edge pushes material with equal amount of force to both sides. So the edge goes in, the devil pushes material to both sides with equal amount of force. On the other hand, single beveled knife like this, what happens is
nothing happens on this side. Only this side, the beveled side, is pushing the material. So that's why the blades tend to go this way. And this is why some people say they don't like single beveled knife. And it's just showing they don't have enough experience. They don't know how to use these things. Because of this single beveled XL, when you cut really thin slice from one side. When you want to do this with really thin slice, single beveled works much, much better. So deeply related to this, another big advantage of single beveled knife is this part is always 90 degree. Well, as long as you are able to keep the blade straight, perpendicular to the cutting board, which isn't that difficult. With double beveled knife, this is not going to happen. It's always always going to be like this and you almost always end up this part bigger than this part yeah so with double beveled knife you almost always end up like this a1 is smaller than A2. To be honest, there aren't a lot of information about, I mean proper information about how to use single beveled knife and how to take care of them. Typically people are just saying, ah, I don't like single beveled knife and that's it, you know. And sometimes people say, uh, because they pull to the one side. That's it. So yeah, I'm just trying to tell my story. It's not which one is better than the other. They have their own purpose. I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.